Hi everybody, I'm back. It's Pam with Silver Sparkles and um, hopefully part three, part three of this video series um, and we'll finish decorating our flips, flaps folio <laughs> we're making. Um, so again, I have our prototype here. Let's set it aside. And the last time we were, um, the last video we left off, I believe I had just collaged this back page and shown you how I just stuck those papers down. And then I off camera went ahead and then collaged the rest of our flaps. So now we get the fun part of decorating and putting the finishing touches on it. So I guess it might depend on what you're using it for. You know, if you really are trying to use it as a standalone and you want to put a lot of writing space in here, you could do that. If you want it to be an insert or a certain theme or even a a fun, um, like a little memory book or to make as a card or a gift for someone, you really anything you want to do. So I laid out some things we can embellish with and decorate with. Um not here promoting any product line, just things that I have on hand and that I'm gonna use um, or that we can choose from. So I really did like that big butterfly on the, on the original. So I had, um, I pulled out some of my butterfly stickers. These are my grown up stickers um, to see, see what I like. Ooh, that one's pretty. A lot of times I'll, I'll wait till the end to, to do the front. Um, and sometimes I, I just go for it. Um, we'll set that aside for a minute and see where, where we get to. Um, one thing I did like about the original is I had done like a little pad of paper on one of these flaps and had added spaces for some journaling. So I think we're definitely gonna do that. And you have a couple of options, you know. Um, I do, I make tea and coffee dyed paper because I love the crinkle and the vintage worn look. You could always just use plain white paper or any color paper. Um, another thing that I'll do, because I do collage a lot with book page, is I'll save some of the pages that, that have the, the white space that I can turn into, um, little pads and pieces of paper to journal on. I think what I'm going to do for this one is I'm going to make a little bit bigger um, uh, little notepad maybe with, I don't know, maybe like six pages, eight pages, something like that. Um, in fact, if I, and again, I'm not measuring, I'm just going for it. Um, if I tear cut each of these pieces um, into three. I'm going to tear. Um, I think I only got two pages out. Um, that'll give us six pieces for our pad. And I want you to see, I don't worry about things being perfect because I love that vintage -y or a little bit of a grungy, grungy look. Um, if that's going to bother you or make you lose sleep at night, measure or use your guillotine cutter. <laughs> Whatever's going to make you happy. Um, let's see what we got here. Now, I know um, that my dogs are now barking. Yay. Um, but I also know that um, these are too long, you know. So I have a couple of options I could fold over. I'm going to trim off though. That's what I'm going to do. Um, and then I have these that I can use for little quotes. And you guys know I love to write on the little pieces of paper and add them to my collages. Um, I'm going to do a banner across the, t or not a banner, but a, a decorative piece of paper across the top um, to make it look pretty. Um, I oftentimes will leave um, staples exposed. 
sometimes I cover them up. Um, we'll see what I decide to do here. I did, the other thing I did besides just collaging is I did lightly ink distress, again, because that's something I like to do, but I, I did that off camera so you didn't have to watch me ink distress around all of these pages like this. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna do that for this. So again, one option is I can just staple this and then adhere it down. Or, we'll do it this way to show you, and I could staple this and then glue or tape this down so it has a little more finished look. You can use a regular old stapler, just like this, to hold your little notepad together. That easy. Um, I also have the Tim Holtz um, tiny attacher that I love to use when I'm doing smaller things or um, I want it to look especially tiny or mini, mini sized. Okay, so I'm um, again, I'm just going to open up the glue would help. I glue this down, it's basically just decorative. how that looks. Um, again, these don't get a lot of, I mean, I don't think somebody's going to be yanking on these and it's going to have to be super, super duper sturdy, but I am just going to use some two-sided tape, make it easy for myself. And I say that and I overlapped it, so it's not going to be as easy as it could have been. Let's see, there we go. And ta-da, we have a cute pad of paper in our book, our folio. Okay, um, I'm also a big fan of pockets and the original I didn't, I didn't take the time um, or that wasn't my vision at the time to have lots of pockets. Um, but we might put a pocket in this one or a belly band. We'll decide here in a moment. Um, but I definitely do like to decorate. And again, back to the original, I put one of my really pretty butterfly stickers into the collage, which I liked. So I'm going to do that. I'm leaving these so that there's lots, there's still gonna be lots of room for whoever ends up having this folio to personalize it. Whether they, um, again, adhere some plain paper and small pieces and do some writing or journaling or um, quotes or scriptures perhaps that, that speak to them where they wanna add it to their journal. Um, let's see. I. I think this paper is fun and I pulled it through on a couple of pages. I'm not sure I like this much. And I'm realizing this pretty peach color is kind of coordinating nicely here. So I actually think I'm just gonna add this to my collage because it was sitting on top and was calling my name. So this is where when I say you can always just add more papers or um, more embellishments um, as you go. There, there really is no, there, there's no mistakes in this. You can always fix it. All right, so this is our first flap. I think here is where I am gonna make some kind of tuck spot and um, Trying to decide what I might want to make that with. Ooh, this is kind of fun paper. Let's see. I guess this was teaching penmanship at some point, and it says, hold your hand when you write so that a button or penny will lie on your wrist. Sit erect. <laughs> okay. Um, that's funny. 
I am going to make this a, um, a corner pocket and then we can tuck something inside. Again, you have options. You can tear it, you can cut it, you can measure and be very precise. You could angle it. I decided to put a little weave in my cut. All right, I'm gonna ink the edges so it stands out a little bit. And this paper is very, it's almost, it almost feels fabric-y. Um, so it's plenty sturdy to make a cute little pocket out of. And I'm just doing a thin, hopefully a thinnish bead of glue. And I'm gonna glue it down. And when that dries, this is gonna be sturdy enough um, to hold a treasure of some sort. And we'll come back to that, okay. Close this one, and that one's gonna go there. So we're gonna put something here. Um, and I think I may just um, find a flower um, and put a few little journaling spots on this one. Let's see what we have. I think that pink really coordinates. Maybe we've got some yellow here. I'm liking the idea of pulling in. And then I'm going to take some of my book page that doesn't have any text on it. And I'll save that to use later. I like this funky torn edge. So let's see what I've ended up with. Hmm. And yes, it's going to cover up some of my collage, but that's okay. Again, I want some more ink spaces. Um, what do I do? Hmm. This one I'm going to actually just glue down. So um, you could spend a lot of time on this part of your project, and I encourage you to enjoy it. I find it very relaxing. Um, to just kind of see, see what I come up with <laughs> and not put too many um, expectations on myself at this stage to move quickly or to make it look a certain way. Um, I'm moving a little quick and trying not to perseverate too much over my choices since I'm, I'm doing this video for you guys. Now, you'll see I've used this washi tape on a few different pages. I'm going to use it um, as part of my little tab of paper here. And again, if you want it to be removable, don't add the extra glue. But if you're wanting it to really stay down. Now, I could glue it, glue it, glue it down. I think I'm going to leave it flappy. Maybe later I'll change my mind. Um, let's see if there's one of these stickers that might be too much. I don't know. Hmm. I think there, I don't think it needs it, so I'm going to wait. Um, I did see, though, because I like the idea of pulling the butterflies through, I may stick a butterfly right here on this pocket for fun. All right. Hmm. What am I going to do on this side? so many places to decorate. Um, I'm going to pick a little something to go ahead and slide in this the pocket as a placeholder. Okay. All right. So here we are again. We have another great spot to decorate. Um, and you don't have to have everything um, filled up, you know. It, it, again, if you're going to gift this to someone or use it um, later or add it to a journal, it is nice to leave plenty of room um, to 
to let that person actually use use the journal. Right now I'm gonna leave that. Here I am gonna do a, a square writing space, even though it's gonna cover up my pretty collage. I, th I think I think I'm gonna like that. <clears throat> so I'm gonna um, take off enough so that you you get the the feel that the collage is there <laughs> um and again if you don't like ink distress or you don't want to do this part you certainly don't have to all right i am going to probably Add a little something. Let's see what I can find. Maybe there. Okay. <clears throat> and again, with this art glitter glue, I always tend to over use more than I really need. If, if you're gluing something that is a hinge or um, really important to the integrity of your project, of course, use more. But to just stick something down really doesn't take much. All right, so let me show you what I was saying to you earlier on one of the other videos. If you collage over the edge, it's okay. Or if your sticker hangs over because you probably own a pair of scissors. <laughs> and you can just do that. Don't know where it went, but there we go. Okay. Could also be cute to rubber stamp some. You can also let me show you this technique, uh, whether it's washi tape or even it can be just um, a tiny piece of paper. I'm not going to use this paper, but it to kind of just um, I don't mind how that looks. Just look like you kind of have it stuck there. How cute is that, right? Gives it another another little dimension to your junk journal. Okay. Boop. Trying to remember where we're at. This one goes, then this one, and then this one. Now, I love this piece of paper right here. Um, and I like that you can see it when my folio is closed. So I don't want to cover up too much there because I do, I do like that, that contrast. So I need to figure out what is it that I want to do here. Um, and is it, again, maybe a little, a, a small journaling spot, maybe with a finger torn edge? Let's see. And again, I don't mind that coming down, but I'm not sure it's my favorite. Let's see. And with these smaller flaps, this is where you start trying to be maybe a little more intentional of what is it going to look like when it's closed. Okay. And again, I am going to just glue this one down. anything here I want to add to give it a little pizzazz. Um, when I have these collaging papers, I also, t I don't always, like I, how I cut the one for the pocket, I don't always use it just, just the way it comes out. Oh, these are pretty. Um, I might actually um, like tear a piece <laughs> and use it then in multiple places. Um, See if I can just find an example like I like. I might it's taken up more of my journaling space than I wanted. Maybe I'll put it here. Hmm. Tear 
some more off. <laughs> um, I hope um, you guys are enjoying the video and seeing how my how I work. I you can also tell I haven't mentioned it because I feel like I mention it all the time. Is that my desk is a mess? Um, it is what it is. Um, I sometimes take the time to clean it up and then I can't find anything for weeks. Um, and sometimes I let it get pretty out of control like it is right now. <laughs> but I'm still creating, so that's okay. All right, I'm gonna leave that for right now. All right, we're back to the front. And I sort of liked this butterfly because it was grabbing some of the the colors, but then I also really liked this one. Hmm, this is a hard choice for me because I love the little bit of the blues and the browns. But this one's lovely too. Now, if I'm going to add an eyelet and a ribbon closure, I also want to make sure I offset my butterfly the right way. Um, because if I get it too close, I, I won't be happy with how that looks. So I could do my eyelet next and then decide what, what decor I want here on the front. Perhaps we'll do that. So, um, I have the crocodile Big Bite and I have the, the handheld crocodile. Um, I'm gonna, because it was right there, I'm gonna use the, the Big Bite. Um, I would like this to be centered. So this flap happens to be, it looks like exactly four inches. And I have a pencil. So I am going to mark the middle, which is that two inch mark and in. So I'm pretty close. I, again, I don't measure a lot, but I, I do want that to be centered. And I am going to use one of my big eyelets um, let me find one that I want to use. Um, these are the wide eyelets by We Are Memory Keepers. They're made for the crocodile. Um, not sure which color I'm going to use. If you like to work with, with eyelets, um, and the crocodile and those things, sometimes knowing which settings you need to be on can be a little confusing. And um, there's videos, YouTube videos out there that does it, that explains it much better than I can. But you also, when you buy a new crocodile, it comes with all the settings and instructions. Um, I'm sure you could probably Google those as well. All right, so now the eyelet's in that I can thread a ribbon through. I get a better sense of where I need to put my butterfly. And I've actually was leaning towards this one, but now that the eyelet's on there, I think I like this, the look of this one better. I'm gonna just go for it. I am, if I can get this little sticker to cooperate. Okay, um, sometimes I do take my tool um, and really rub these stickers in. They're, they're part vellum, I think, paper, they tear, um, but they're, they are very nice and sticky. Um, let me go back where I put some others and make sure I've rubbed them down. Okay, we are about where I'm gonna say, we're gonna let this one go. Oh, I haven't put anything here. Ha! What do I wanna put here? Um, I think this is just another opportunity for some white space. And um, so I'll get this ready to go. Um, and we'll glue that down. Now, sometimes, you saw the other one, I took the time and actually drew some lines. Um, again, 
Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Today, for the video's sake, I am not going to draw lines on the paper. I've had some people um, inquire about some of the journals that I've made because I tend to, again, on the, the coffee or tea dyed paper, not have lined paper, and they prefer lines. So, you know, again, it's always a personal preference, and I have made some with lined paper that I've gone through and hand lined. It takes a long time. Um, but... Gives, gives you some different options and choices. And there's nothing that would stop the person that might own this little deer someday of coming through and drawing some lines if they prefer lines. Um, not hard. All right, that's looking pretty. So let's just see real quick though, was there anything we wanted to do back here? And again, this is on the original I believe, again, I took the time to draw some lines, um, but not everywhere. So it, it's, again, depends on what, what, what you want the look to be. I think I'm gonna just leave these for time's sake. I am going to perhaps put a sticker on the back just for fun. Let's see what else I have. Ooh, there's another butterfly I hadn't noticed. Ooh, that one's pretty. Um, one of my most favorite things is crafting with butterflies. Where would that one look pretty? I'm going to put it down here at the bottom. Yeah, I don't envision this one, given its thickness and size, that it would be glued down into a journal. But if somebody decided to do that, the butterfly would, would be there. You just wouldn't be able to see it. Um, sometimes people will, will glue a, a, a flippy like this into a journal and then they'd have all this extra space in their journal and it wouldn't move. So, all right, the last thing to do is to pick a ribbon. Um, again, you, you could even do like some pretty twine or, um, you know, like this kind of twine. I did the sorry silk ribbon on that one. I looked in my stash when I realized I had this pretty color on the outside and I'm trying to decide if I would like how this would look or if it's a little more than what I wanted. Um, a lot of times I do tend to go more neutral, but color is fun, color is good. Um, let's see what the neutral one would look like. In here, I like that as well. Hmm. Oh, I should close up my ink pad. All right. Um, decisions, decisions. Um, oh, and one thing too, I I, I always lose the pen for my glue. And I can't remember who, what video I was watching, but somebody talked about. Um, just a simple, you know, piece of paper, or you could do a sticker or a ribbon or something through the pen, and then it is a little bit easier to find on your desk. Just a helpful hint that I wish I had learned a lot sooner. <laughs> um, why don't we just do some, I think this will be pretty, let's do, and I'm going to maybe do, if I can find the end, um, this thicker one here, a little bit thicker, and we'll do some twine. Unless it means I'm going to be sitting here fighting with it. Nope, there we go. Um, again, lots of different ways to, to, do, to do this. Um, I think it'll be easier if I go ahead and cut it. Guesstimate how much I'm going to need. So I usually go around a couple of times, especially when it's thinner. I can always change my mind and not go around that many times. Um, I am going to loop, if I can make it go through, this one through this way. Let's see, how, see if we like it. Again, you can always change your mind. Hmm. I think that's the natural, the natural break point. Hmm. 
sometimes it takes a few tries to get it get it right I'm not happy so we're gonna start over with that um, I think I needed to leave the loop leave this end a little bit longer Well, who knew this was going to be what I struggled with? <laughs> All right, there we go. I wanted it to be longer that way. So I have a little more room to tie a cute bow when it's time. All right, I think this is maybe going to be better. Oh, you know what? I can make the bow go right here at the center of the butterfly. Still not a thousand percent sold that I have my ribbon the way that I want it. However, I can worry about this later. All right, and I can just tuck this baby in and we can call her done. Okay. Um, one more quick look. Lots of space to journal little tuck spot here cute little pad of paper folds up nice and then you've got plenty of space back here for some large larger collaging or journaling if you like okay all right thanks for joining me have a good one